Well, what a chicane. Huh. And come on. Let's drive up there. Because cool. This is fantastic. This is fantastic, guys. Monza is one of the temples of speed in motorsport. Iconic, incomparable, indispensable. And now available for Automobilista 2 as a paid DLC. Why the purchase is worth it from my point of view and what you get for your money, you'll find out in this video. This is the 1971 version of Monza and I'm attacking it with one of the well one of the nicest and most beautiful cars ever built the BMW M1 Pro car that's okay and I think uh, the Ascari is flat out yeah no problem no problem just a slight movement in the wheel and that's it but now it's gonna get interesting it's parabolic up yeah let's build up again Oof, that was close <laughs> the fence at, at the exit of, of that corner wow well, let's see, the more or less high, super high speed variant of Monza. It hardly can get any faster, but nevertheless, we have to, to hit those apexes. Just take a look at, at the Lesmos back then and what they called runout zones. Well, you got a fence and then a meter after that, another fence. But that's what they call safety back then, it was part of the game. I have a deep respect for the Kuva Grande. And this is why. But my gearing is... It's FUBAR. That's, that's just shit. Have to definitely treat that. Way! Alright. Let's go back to the pits. Madreza have done a nice job, obviously. They have been able to, to capture the 70s look. The track is cool. And it offers high speed racing. with another variant of the Monza DLC. This is the Monza Junior Historic 1971 variant. I'm in the Puma GDE, one of the slowest cars around here. And I think that's, oops, yeah. That's just appropriate. Such a, um, short track and I think these low power cars are, are are just fitting okay it's it's another great addition to Monza with the distinct 9070s ad boards and overall look The 
the weather model, of course, is one of the great strengths of AMS2, as well as the day and night cycle. I think the the junior version, this one or the newer one, is perfect for um, for getting to know the track or the game even. And also pretty good for low power cars. I've done some races on this track in a set of Corsa with street cars and slow touring cars and I think it's it's on that level. I'm in hell of view for this extra portion of immersion and look at that the, the entry to to Ascari was and also the exit of Ascari was uh, much tighter back then and the exit had a, a sandbank out there so so you better not not overdo it because sandbanks back then usually meant, well, a DNF for at least a great lot of time, especially in the Formula cars. Well, let's take a little story here, avoiding the curves in the wet, but now this is actually the first time since I think uh, the Grand Prix games by Jeff Grement that I am driving on this variant of Monza. Yeah, again too late, but not the best line, but it's, it's really tricky to, to accelerate at a slow speeds with this car. the second last mode. Ah, yeah. Is about, and yeah, second last is not really a challenge. It opens up nicely. Okay, let's attack this curb. Use that one. You can, you can see the, the rubber on all these curbs, so you definitely will want to use them for a fast time. And to parabolic they I think parabolic is one of those corners that remained unchanged over the decades. Correct me if I'm wrong, but to me it, it always feels the same except for the curving. that finally once I was added to AMS2 I think it's it's a no-brainer uh, every racing game that calls itself a racing simulation needs Monza Monza is one of the most iconic legendary tracks it's the temple or one temple of speed and it's one of those tracks that are quite easy to learn, but need some time to really master, also depending on, on the car. The acceleration, the top speed. It's, it's, they are extraordinary with the Group C cars. I mean, they were racing at Le Mans, of course. Cornering, mm, mechanical grip, mm, brakes, mm. that can't be a Monza showcase 
without the current F1. So here we are in Charles Leclerc's car. Already the time trial leaderboard is full of super quick times. Also confirming that, well, Monza is now all guys track. We needed that. Let's know fourth or fifth gear. Oh. The downforce grip attraction is that's that's otherworldly. The sensation, especially with the helmet cam here, something really cool. And then there's this variant of Monza. One I haven't seen anywhere, but that could also be me. It's the, the 10K variant with this banked curve. Well, let's heighten the degrees. That's cool. Yeah, what a sensation. Really cool. I don't have a clue where to break, actually. Honestly, I don't know where to break. Let's do it here. About 200 meters, yeah. Nice and easy. And the second. Well, what a chicane. Huh. But that's that's a great addition. Great addition. Really surprised how neatly this fits in. Great, great. Let's stay in fifth here, so let's try. And so much grip. So, so much downforce. Wow. It's a bit too lame, but better safe than sorry. I like that very much. Wow. What a great sensation. Wow. This is fantastic. This is fantastic, guys. I like that a lot. Really, I do. And come on, let's drive up there. Because cool. Can we reach 300? I guess so. Or even more. This is the stock setup and it fits great. Really great. So what did I do? 240, 242. Okay, cool. Cool. Also a wonderful track for all hot lapping and time, time trial guys. With these cars in optimal conditions, I think Okay, oh, I've run out of fuel. Oh, that's a pity. But in these cars, I think 230 or even faster won't be a problem. So guys, yeah, that was my quick roundup of the new Deagle C for AMS2. The Monza track with its diverse layouts. The highlight for me is the 10K version with or without chicanes because it actually adds 
another dimension of, of driving. That's it for me for today, guys. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, uh, you're very welcome to hit that subscribe button. All the best to you. Have a nice day. And until the next one. Bye-bye.